it's not in your best interest to work at home. I know it's a hassle to come to the <laughs> office, but like, you know, if you work, if you're just sitting in your pajamas in your bedroom, is that the work life you want to live, right? Don't you want to feel part of something? Man, what? I already feel like I'm a part of something. And yes, working from home is in my best interest. I'm in my dining room right now. This is the work life that I want to live. Do you have any clue of what I had to do to get here? Well, I think you do, but we'll get to that in a few. That was Canadian author Malcolm Gladwell during his appearance on the Diary of a CEO podcast hosted by Steve Bartlett saying that people need to come into the office. Now, I'm going to presume that Gladwell in his podcast company he referenced, Pushkin, pays its employees well. Concerning its turnover rate, Gladwell said that those who are most likely to go are the same people who are most socially disconnected from the organization, came to the office the least, or were working from another city doing remote work. I mean, not that he was going there, but don't be one of those employers who claim no one wants to work after what too many have deemed the great resignation, seeing how the unemployment rate is currently around 3.5%. Seems like people don't want to work for certain places under certain conditions. Those places should be focused on why that is. Among those Americans who were working from home, 83% that they liked doing so, including a majority, 56%, who said they liked working from home a lot. Among those who didn't typically work at home before the pandemic, 77% said they liked the experience. 86% of those who are working remotely said they would be interested in continuing to do so after the pandemic whenever that is. As of February 2022, 61% of teleworkers who have an office say it's their choice not to work from their pew found, up from about a third in October 2020. Fewer cite concerns about being exposed to the virus. With that said, if we don't feel like we're part of something important, what's the point? It's not, you're not just doing this to get a pay. If it's just a paycheck, then it's like, then you, what have you reduced your life to? Some people just want a paycheck to fund the lives they lead outside of work. They're not interested in titles, going above and beyond for the sake of productivity, making quotas. The important stuff that they want to be a part of don't take place in the office. And that's okay. Congrats to them. Yes, there's a survey that says millennials are lonely and have no friends. But there's something to be said about reducing life to avoiding lengthy commutes, gas prices, unproductive office chatter, lower insurance rates, being home when my kids arrive from school, insane office lunch costs, and an overall healthier state of mind. Corporations are in on this. Going back to the insane office lunch costs, the New York Post mentioned that Shake Shack, the fast food chain, told investors that its sales missed Wall Street forecasts because the rate at which office workers are returning to their cubicles has slowed. Read the room. Check y'all's prices. Malcolm Gladwell knows all this all too well. As I alluded to earlier, here are two different articles confirming that, at the very least, in the past, he thoroughly enjoyed working from home in cafes instead of in the office. Keep this in mind when the Malcolm Gladwells of the world say, we want you to join our team. And if you're not here, it's really hard to do that. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.